Hello everyone, welcome to my project ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a clock without using RTC and RTC no no for temperature and humidity in it. So let us begin. So for this, we need one RTC no no, one small bed board, one LCD screen, one potentiometer, one temperature sensor, one resistor and some connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect. So first of all, we will be connecting the first terminal of this potentiometer to the 5V pin of the third unit. After it, we will connect the second terminal that is the wiper of this potentiometer to this contract pin of this LCD. Second terminal, we will be connecting to this GND pin of the third unit. And this temperature sensor is the entire total CV. So first of all, we will be connecting the power terminal of it to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. After it, this V out pin, that is the center one, we will be connecting to this V1 pin of this Arduino and analog side. Third one is the G and D pin of the sensor, that we will be connecting to this G and D pin of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect these LCD pins. So the first pin is the ground that will be connecting to the G and D pin of this Arduino. Second one is the power pin that will be connecting to the 5 root pin of the Arduino. And the third we have already connected. Fourth one is the register select that will be connecting to this 12 number pin of the Arduino. Third one is the read write that we will be connecting to the GND pin of the Arduino. This one is the enable pin of the LCD that will be connecting to this 11 number pin of the Arduino. Now we have DB4. DB5, DB6, and DB7 pin of the LCD that will be connecting to this 5, 4, and 2 number pin of the Arduino no respect. After this, we have LED anode pin of the LCD that will be connecting to the one end of this resistor. The second end will be connecting to this 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Now, our last pin is this LED cathode that will be connecting to the G and D pin of the circuit. So, in this way, our circuit is set. Now, let us see how the code is. So, this is our code over here. First of all, we have included two libraries. First is a liquid crystal library called the LED LCD, and the second one is the time for the time buffer. Now, in this, what we are doing is 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2 are the P numbers of this Arduino which are connected to this LCD respectively. Now, over here we have initialized some variables that we will be using in our functions. Now, in this void setup function, what we are doing is we are beginning this LCD from, in short, we are, what we are doing is there are total 16, row, uh, 16 columns and 2 rows in this LCD. Now in this void loop function, we are setting the LCD cursor to 0 row, means 0 row, 0 row and 0 column. After it, we are printing this time in hour, minute and second in that. In the first row. Now after it, we are setting the cursor to the 0 row, 0 column and 1 row. After it, we are reading this temperature, converting it to degree centigrade and then, and then printing it. In the next to it, what we are doing is we are simply increasing the second by one, and if it will reach sixty, then we are increasing the minute by one. If it if the minute will be sixty, we are increasing the hour by one. In this way, our code is there. Now let us see how actually it will work. So for this, I am clicking in the start simulation. As you can see, in this time, this is the first row. This is the second row. I am increasing 1 second, 1 second, 1 second in that way and the temperature it is showing 25.71 degrees centigrade. Thank you.